Year 7. We're going to look at Holly Lavelle today. She did soft sculpture and we're going to tie that in with the visual element of form with a textiles focus. And I've got a really interesting activity for you to do and you'll see that in, in a little bit. So I really hope that you enjoy it. So as I explained in my introductory video, we're going to be looking at form. Now form is a visual element. I'm just going to go through the visual elements and principles with you really quickly and then I'm going to show you some examples before you go off and do a task yourself. So there are, as you can see, quite a few different elements and principles and composition is the only one that fits into both the principles and the elements. But I don't want to spend too, too long on that today. I just want to go through this very quickly with you. We've got line, we've got tone, we've got shape, colour. These are all the visual elements. We've got pattern, texture, space, composition, and form. Now, form is the one that I want us to concentrate on because that is linked to the task that we're going to do today. So, we're looking at it with a textiles focus. Now, this is the kind of form that you might do if you were doing some kind of textile sculpture. If you can see these lovely forms here, if you're just watching my cursor. So, we're going to do two things. We're going to learn about form, but we're also going to look at a textiles artist. Her name is Holly Lavelle, and we're going to see a little bit about how she did 3D shapes in textiles, and it's often called soft sculpture. So, for example, if you see this hamburger here, it isn't really made out of food, uh, meat and bun. It's made out of fabric and ribbon and beads and that kind of thing. So it's really interesting. So Holly Lavelle, you can see a picture of her here. Um, she, she loves making soft sculptures and often she looks at her, her daily surroundings for inspiration. For example, it could be a ketchup bottle or washing up liquid, um, and then she makes them into 3D forms. And as I said, we're looking at form. She makes 3D forms, so we're tying in the visual element of form with some textiles, with a textiles artist. She's made all sorts of fun things. You can see some Marmite here. Um, she's made, uh, this is, the, she, well, she got onto a cover of a magazine here for all her work. Um, she's Heinz baked beans, and they're all 3D, which is really fun. Here you can see a whole lot more. She's got some Skittles, a picnic bar, uh, HP sauce, golden syrup, Monster Munches. I love Monster Munches. I uh, don't know about you. Um, and, yeah, just tons of things that she's made, and they look really realistic, don't they? But they're all made out of fabric and felt and thread and stitch. And then she stuffs them with some wadding to make them 3D. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to have the chance to do some kind of textile sculpture or textiles tower. Now, this could be a pile of textile items and you can, you can include clothes and shoes or rolled up towels and blankets, hats, football, things like that. I've made some examples here for you. So for example, here, we've got a textiles tower using bigger and bulkier out items at the bottom, like these cushions, and smaller ones on top. So we've got lots of shoes in a nice big pile. On this item, and this example, we've got, it is very precarious, they're really using some balance here. So they've got lots of textiles items, and then some shoes, and then a hat right at the top. And in this example, I've shown a whole lot of bags and hats and then what it could look like if you put a ball on the top of it. It would have to balance, it would be really precarious. Now, my current Year 7 students did some great examples. This one, the student tried to make a person using various textiles items. So you can see she's got some, uh, which look like, I think, winter gloves here. And then she's got a jacket and a hat. And she's made it look really realistic as if it's a person. So great response. 
this one, I love this, they've recreated a yacht with the sea and the sky in the background. Can you see the yacht? Yachts here. So they've used a bag. Can you see that? A drawstring bag. And they've rolled up various bits and pillows. And this is supposed to be the sea and waves. And there's the yacht. And then in the background, they've got a sun and a sky. Just brilliant. So clever. This one's also very creative. So in this picture, you can see that they've got a picture, a photo of their dog lying uh, on some clothes. And then they've tried to recreate the dog. Can you see the shape of the dog here? And they've done it so that it looks like the dog lying on the clothes. So again, so clever. This one was really fun. She made a tower of textiles items and she made it look sort of like a little creature i don't know if you can see that and then she's used her brother to stand behind it with his arms to make it look like it's a real little creature brilliant so clever for this one we've got another person where they've got some shoes and some clothes they've just stuffed the clothes with some other textiles and they've given a little face and they've tried to make it look like a person brilliant and then our last, a second to last example, sorry. And um, they recreated a bunch of flowers using rolled up ties and scarves. And they've tied a t-shirt together here to make it look like it's a bunch of flowers, with it, like a bouquet of flowers. So clever, really, really clever. Now, if you wanted to, you could spend more time on this task later. Um, if you have materials at home, needles and threads and that kind of thing, then you could make a little creature or some kind of form, could be any form, and you could stuff it with some stuffing or with bits of fabric. You could sew it together and make something like this. Amazing. Okay, so we just go back to this slide here. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go away and make yourself either a, a tower of textile items or make some kind of little person or something like that. That's what you're going to spend your time doing. And then there's a little video um, at the end of this to say goodbye. And then I'm really looking forward to seeing you in September. Okay, so I would say maybe spend about 10, 15 minutes on this if you can. Um, and you could take a photo of it and then you could bring it in September. And you could show me. I'd love to see it. Okay, all right. Lovely. Have fun. Thank you. Goodbye. So I really hope you enjoyed that task, Year 7, and I can't wait to meet you in person in September. Bye-bye.